Welcome to Data Structures with Professor Kalin. In this video, I want to talk about the Heapify algorithm. As we discussed in the previous video, insertion into a binary heap takes big O of login time. So if we build a heap from scratch, that will take big O of in login time. That's not terrible. But let's suppose that we have an array with data in it already. Now, one option would be to just do insertions into the heap. So we would initially set up the heap to contain that first item and then start inserting into it with the rest of the items. So we'd insert the nine. That heap is currently not in good shape. We need to do that percolate up and swap the seven and the nine. Then we can insert the two, percolate up, sees that its parent is nine. That's how happy I am doing a max heap here, by the way, which we often find is what we're interested in when we're actually using this algorithm. Then we could insert the 15, need to percolate up and swap with the seven. Parent is still there and still smaller, so we need another percolate up and swap with the nine. And so as we go, the performance of this is going to be in log n time. So this will get us there, but as we've said, it's going to be in log n. It turns out that there is a better way. The basic concept here is that we're going to simply say, okay, I have an array of data. This is all part of a heap, a currently quite broken heap, but it's a heap. Then, of course, we need to fix the heap. And the whole point of the heapify algorithm is to fix the broken heap in big O of n time. I'm not going to demonstrate the big O of n part, but I'm going to show you how this algorithm works. So for each parent from the last one, the one at n over 2, integer division, down to the first, which will be the root at one, we're going to do a percolate down. And by the time we've done that, we will have a correct heap. So let's do that with this same heap that we were working with before, the same initial array. So we start then with the last parent, which is at index three, seven divided by two, integer division, three. So we have the two there. And then its children are at indexes six and seven. So we compare those two children. The 12 is the larger. It is also larger than the two. So we need to do that swap. At that point, our percolate down is finished because the two has no more children. The next parent that we need to look at, the next index, is the two. This is just a for loop counting down from that initial value for the index to one. So three minus one, two, here we are. So we compare the children of the nine, which are at indices four and five. 15 is the larger of those two. So we're going to end up swapping the 15 and the nine. The nine now doesn't have any children, so we're done there. Then we get down to our final percolate down at the root with the value seven. So its children are the 15 and 12. We compare those, 15 is the larger, it's larger than the seven. So we do that swap. Now this time the seven still has children to check. Its new children are the nine and the 10. The 10 is the larger of those two. So we'll swap the 10 and the seven. Now the seven doesn't have any children and we're done with a correct max heap. And that's all there is to this algorithm. We're just going to run a for loop from the last parent, the one at n divided by 2, up to the root, or down if we're counting by indices to the root. Do the percolate down from each of those. And at the end, we're going to have ourselves the kind of heap we're looking for. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.